hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today i'm gonna show you about the design and simulation of negative voltage regulator using lt spice so in the last video i've shown you about the design and simulation of positive voltage regulator using lt spice so in this video i'm gonna show you about how you can design negative voltage re regulator using some discrete components so if you look at this circuit it looks very fancy but let me explain how this circuit works and later i'll also run the simulation and i'll show you how you are getting your negative output rail okay so if you look at this point this is your input section wherein i am feeding minus 15 volt to 30 volt so my input voltage is minus 15 volt to 30 volt which i am feeding to this circuit and if i right click on this v1 so if you look at this for time interval zero zero second your your voltage is 15 volt and for time interval 100 millisecond your voltage is 30 volt what does it mean that means that you are ramping your input signal from 15 volt to 30 volt with time span of 0 to 100 millisecond okay so this is all about the input voltage that means your input is minus 15 volt to 30 volt and if you look at this c2 this is your input capacitor and this one this q1 is 2 and 2907 and this is p and p transistor okay so in the positive voltage regulator we have seen in spite of using the the pnp transistor we were using npn transistor for npn transistor here q1 as well as q2 so now for the negative voltage regulator we are using pnp transistor and the rest is same as the positive voltage regulator you can see this r1 is the biasing resistance again okay so this i would say this is the collector current ic and this is also the collector current ic okay so this is ir1 equals to iv plus ic and if you look at this q3 this is also a pnp transistor right and here if you look at i have connected general diode d1 and in the positive regul voltage regulator the the cathode of this general diode is connected to the emitter of q3 but in the negative voltage regulator the anode of d1 is connected to the to the emitter of q3 and if you look at here your anode is connected to the r2 okay so so if you haven't watched that positive voltage regulator circuit I would highly recommend please go and watch that video first so that you will be able to understand what is the difference between positive voltage regulator circuit and negative regulator circuit and how what all components I flipped or I rotate in order to get the negative voltage regulator okay so if you look at this Gina diode in the positive re voltage regulator so i have just flipped this to 180 degree for the negative voltage regulator and this is also r3 and r4 is the feedback resistance which is feeding signal to the q3 and this c1 is output capacitor which is supplying the current to the load and if you look at this load i have divided load load into the dot step param and dot step param rl and i am feeding the value of load resistance to 1k to 100k with uh, with you would say increment of 1k okay so that is how you can design the negative voltage regulator by using some discrete components if i say the discrete components that means you you are using capacitor you are using register and you are using 
the transistor by using some discrete components now let me run the simulation and let me show you the different voltage and current waveform so in order to run the simulation you have to go at the simulate button so this is the simulate button and go at the edit simulation command this is the edit simulation command once you click on that you will see the transient you will see this this window edit simulation command window and right now I am running the transient analysis okay so this is the transient analysis and my this stop time is 100 milliseconds so that's okay so I'll click ok once you click ok then you have to go here at run button click on the run button and then you can you my tile window vertically I usually tile window vertically so that I can see volt voltage both the circuit and simulated waveform at the same pace so let me show you the the input voltage and if you look at here at time t equals to zero your input is somewhere around fifth minus 15 volt and for the time t equals to 100 millisecond your input is 30 30 minus 30 volt that means I'm fading I am fading the negative voltage to this circuit okay so if you look at that I, I, I want to check what is the effect of line regulation so that is why I am fading the input voltage from minus 15 volt to minus 30 volt so now let me run and let me show you the, the output voltage okay so if you look at the output voltage that is how it looks like okay so since i am wearing the current let me show you the current this is also a current waveform so i'm changing the current from let's say here if you look at 1.16 milliampere to to minus 6 milliampere that means i also wanted to understand the load regulation behavior of the output okay that is why i have kind of I, I have connected the changing resistance value R5 in order to see what is the impact of load regulation but the one thing is that uh, I didn't fix the input voltage I'm all so for this simulation purpose only I am changing my input voltage from minus 15 volt to minus 30 volt and at the same time I'm also changing our load resistance value so both can we can see at the same time but at but in the case of line regulation you have to change only the input voltage and your load resistance or load current should be constant and in case of load regulation you have to change only your load current or load resistance value and your input input voltage should be constant but for the sake of simulation I'm changing both I'm changing the changing the load current and I am also changing the input voltage so let me if I delete this load current and let me show you the output voltage and if you look at here this is this is something like minus 12 volt you can see and because of the changing the load current let me see here how much voltage you are getting it's a 12.4 if I fix the input voltage 15 I might not see this also 400 milli volt change in the output because I am changing the input voltage and I am changing the load current at the same time that is why I am seeing some differences here so I hope you guys now you have understood how will you design the negative voltage regulator and how will you simulate the the negative voltage regulator